as you can see I've created a page blogs underneath the uh, home which I'm going to use uh, obviously enough to add blogs to our website now the blogging module is one of the most complex so I'm just going to add one let's call it uh, GGW blogs and insert it in the content pane and add it and we've now added five separate elements to this page so there's, there's quite a lot of complexity to this so we'll break this down into uh, more than one video first thing is to understand what these various elements are the top one is going to display the actual entries this next one is going to be w what blogs we've got this is a toolbar where we create blogs and add entries this is a search box and this is an archive box so first thing we should do is organize this to be a little bit uh, more sensible so we're going to leave this one in the main content page because that's actually where we're going to read the entries this top one the next one which is just a list of blogs I'm going to move into the left hand pane you can reorganize, the, reorganize these to your heart's content and they start making more sense. You can also uh, ask an admin to do it if you prefer. Um, let's move our toolbar also into the left hand pane. And let's move the search into the right hand pane. And let's move also the archive options where people can check the archive of blogs also into the right pane. So we now have a bit of a more sensible option. This will expand, obviously, as there are entries. Well, the first thing we need to do is create a blog. So if I click on Create a Blog, we have to give it a title. So I'm going to call this one Sandra's Blogs. And the reason I've used the plural is because you can have sub-blogs. So you can have different blogs for different topics. So herein I discuss the things that interest me. Now we've got a whole load of options that we can go with. Do I want the blog to be public? Yes I do. Um, when you work with blogs by the way if you start adding the module into different parts of the site you'll find you're referencing the same underlying blogs so you can't add one blog in a private part and one blog in a public part um, and think that that's going to make it uh, separated in the way that the pages are separated. It's not like that. So you have to use these kind of options to control who can see what. So we are going to make it public. We are going to allow users to post comments. We're not going to require approval for users. We're going to allow the anonymous users to post comments, but for them we require approval. So you get to check those before they appear. You don't want to get into allowing trackbacks. It's not worth the hassle. And you could choose to send email notification. You can also choose whether you want username or full name to appear. I'll go with full name. For syndication, we do want to syndicate it. It's a public blog. We want people to know when there's a new entry. And we'll syndicate this one independently of any other blogs, uh, rather than as a, uh, a category of a parent blog. It's not really relevant so much for this one, but when we create sub-blogs, it will be. And I'm going to leave it at that, and let's just click Update. I now have um, the basic blog. If I wanted to break that down, what I could do is edit the settings. So let's go back into that, uh, edit blog settings. And this time, let's add a guns uh, one. We're going to call this one guns, where I talk about guns. And I'm just going to make it public. I'm not going to worry about the detail of the settings this time around. So we now have a guns one. We're going to add another one. And let's add a gangs one. Where I talk about gangs. And again, I'll make it public. And we'll just update that. And I'm done. So let's update overall. And now we have Sandra's blogs, one about gangs, one about guns. You can only have one um, blog per user but then you break down sub blogs and you can only write to your own blogs if you see what I mean so let's add a blog entry just to demonstrate it and we'll go and we'll add it to the gangs um, a sense of family as a title gangs not fangs <laughs> gangs sometimes offer a sense of belonging to their members 
and uh, not just about the old ultra violence. Okay, um, that's the summary, and in here, blah blah, and we have a nice long thoughtful entry all about the uh, topic in hand. Okay, that, you get the picture. Why don't I copy a bit more of that just to make it look more? And okay, lots of uh, of worthy stuff in there. Now I click update. It'll be published automatically because that's checked. Um, otherwise, only you would see it until you're ready with it. We're allowing users to comment. That overrides the settings. We could display copyright, but what the hey? So now we have an entry in our blog. We can uh, search for it. We can look in the archive for it and so forth. One final wrinkle before I finish. This first um, blog video is a problem, and that is this thing here. We have this little user control where we can check our settings, view the blog, add a blog entry. If I log out, look at that. You must be logged in or permission to create or edit blogs. In other words, this little tool one is no use to the anonymous user, and it looks kind of odd. So this is about the only time when I would get into setting uh, permissions on a module level. So let's log in again. And this time, I'm going to go into this one. I'm going to go into the settings, and I'm going to get rid of the inherit view permissions from the page. Then I'm going to say that um, authors can see it, uh, that registered users can see it, and stakeholders, but I'm not going to allow anybody else to see it. And I'm going to take off the stakeholder's ability to edit the module. So now when I update that, still the same when we're logged in, but when we're logged out, it's no longer there. And I'll come back to blogs and look at more of this other functionality in another video.